this video we're going to look at the school calendar, setting dates in session, and uh, looking at your bells. So you need to be in the school view, the school top tab, the calendars side tab. I'm going to click on the dates leaf for your current calendar. And this will show you all of your different dates that you're in or out of session, what, uh, whether it's in or out of session, your day number, so if you run a one day schedule these should all be ones or zeros if they're out of session, the day type, if there is a pro D day or something like that, it'll show up in here, and the bell schedule name. So everybody's going to have a very simple one, it's either going to be bells, or if you're running two different bell schedules, bell one, bell two. One thing I will point out is a filter. There's a days in session filter as well as an all records filter. So if you switch to all records, which I believe is the default, you'll see the days not in session. In uh, this example, we've accidentally set up August in session. So we can change these yeses to nos. And uh, that can be done either directly in the date itself, as you can click on it, uncheck it for a day in session, schedule day number, set it to zero. Bells can be removed and hit save. And you can go back to your dates so you can see the change that's been made. You also have the option to do a uh, modify list or you can do a mass update. Be careful if you're using mass update to do select and then show selected. So if I wanted to update this entire month, just go down and make sure I'm all in August, which it looks like I am. Options, show selected, Make sure you're working with the number that you want there. Options, mass update, pick your field, and we're in session, we're changing it to a blank, so a no, hit update. These will all change now to no's, double check that you've got the right number. Okay. These have all changed to no's skip 10 because you already knows and your day number you can change that one as well to schedule day number change it to a zero update again keeping track of the numbers you're working with if you're using mass update I'm going to do the bells as well Bell blank update. And there I've been able to easily change a month worth of uh, mistakes using the mass update. Be careful that you're using select and then options show selected before you use mass update. Now you can also um, have a look at everybody by going back to the all records <clears throat> and use the modify list so I'm looking into September here options modify list this will give you the pencils on all the columns they're all updatable through modify list which is nice because then you can quickly go through um, here and change it to a yes or no or the day number if you're running a one or two day schedule you can change these to twos these, of course, would require that you have your days set up under schedule, structure, days before you can do this. But you can see here you can make those changes and save them. The day type as well, you can see this one shows Labor Day, uh, Pro D days, etc. And then you have your bells. All of them can be updated using the modify list. So you'd want to go through all of your months, check whether the in session is correct, check if the day number is correct, uh, day type if necessary, and check that your bells are filled in. So that's how you check your calendars for in session, day number, day types, and bells.